This Sunday, the church will use the vandalized sign in their service to say, we will not be deterred from our commitment. Right, we're going to put another sign up in the same place. This time, Reverend Tom Harris says they will use wooden poles to make the sign harder to vandalize and put signs on other parts of the church building. The church's security camera caught the person in the act. Well, on Sunday afternoon around 1 o'clock, somebody was walking southbound on York Road. They jumped up on the retaining wall at the edge of our property and just in about 60 seconds completely flattened our Black Lives Matter sign. There was on four metal poles. Every pole was bent to the ground. And Supporting the LGBTQ and black communities is a priority for the church. This church is a church in Baltimore City, which is a racially segregated city. And we are right on one of the dividing lines that segregate race and ec racially and economically in this city. And as a predominantly white church, we need to look at the ways that we've been complicit in that, maybe even participate in it. And that's why we try to be anti-racist. Pastor Harris also says the hateful and negative rhetoric in the country may be a factor in what took place here in Govins. I think there are very powerful people in this country who are trying to divide us uh, for their own gain. And it's being effective with certain people. And it, that's a shame. I think the person who tore down this sign is you know, was manipulated by those powerful messages and those powerful people. Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News.